Mrs. Sri Devi Kapoor's astounding talent was not luck. It was well deserved and she worked for it from her childhood. I'm also a child actor. I've known her from her teens. She was still a child then when she came to work with me and Mr. Balachandra, my mentor, sometimes gave me the responsibility of uh, uh, working with her and correcting her acting and shaping her, even her dance moves. When she came, she was not as talented as she is, she was. But she developed every day she learned. I, I, I was astounded by her climb and every step of it she worked for. She was very fond of me and I very fond of her. Our paths diverged when she became a superstar in Hindi. She has acted in almost all languages uh, in India and with, in about 27 films with me. Uh, I, the moments we've had together were all in, in film shootings. We, we were working so continuously that our personal life was on the periphery. So the kind of dedication she had truly matched mine. And so it's no wonder that we were fond of each other. I think I saw her last month. And uh, we are not prone to showing emotion, but somehow we both hugged each other. I'm, I'm very grateful for that hug. Mm. Sadma's song rings in my ears now. I think that's a great lullaby for this talented, beautiful Sri Devi. That's our lullaby for her. She had a happy life. My deepest condolence to the family, Mr. Boni, the children. I know. They loved her very much. And I know how, how much Sri Devi loved her daughter. I used to make fun of it. Some other day when we were in a party, she, I found both daughter and mother uh, cuddling in a corner and showing love to each other. And I just was making fun of them. That poor child is going to miss all that. Hold on. Hang in there, Bonnie. I'm sorry. <laughs>